Hola, ¿qué tal, queridos amigos y amigas de YouTube? Nerdy Fitness Vlog, with your host Pablo Gunner, and I'm here to talk nerdy to you about fitness and nerdy things and nerdy fitness things. So essentially, like, I'm gonna cover my workouts, I'm gonna cover my food, and I'm gonna cover, you know, just shows, comics, movies, uh, video games, anime, whatever I have going on this week and stuff and how it relates, okay? So, I'm going to jump into this, try to make it quick. So, uh, day one, I actually had some leftovers from the previous week, uh, from, well, from, from well, work week and also from, from food, uh, you know, like from eating out. So, I had, uh, before work, I ate a mini ham and turkey sandwich they're like sliders, but like sandwich versions, you know, and it was just ham and turkey. Um, and then, so that's what I had before work, before I did my treadmill run, which was 4.25 miles in 38 minutes with an incline of 1.5. Every time I, I, it went up, you know, I did a quarter, 0.1, you know, and so, and so forth. Um, and then I did a double that day, so I did not do another workout. And so I ate my pita chips because I was start, you know, starting for carbs because of that run. And then I also had leftover prime rib from Roadhouse. Yes, I know it's very fatty, but oh my God, it's heaven. And so I ate that. And then I also had also pretty bad uh, for you is deep dish pizza leftovers from uh, BJ's, which was like, it was just one slice. And then I also had, uh, pita chips and, uh, and goat cheese from Matucci's. And so that's what I ate throughout the night. It was like, it was spaced out obviously because I worked double. So I only had like one every four hours or so. Uh, and then, so I was pretty much out of food because I didn't bring anything else. I was ate all my pita chips, you know, and, and ate all, ate all, I ate all my food. So that's, that's what I had. Um, so I did not work out before the day two. Cause like I said, it was, I did a double. So I'm like, nope, I'm sleeping all the way until it's time for me to get ready for work. That's what I did. So, but I did have to grab food for work. So I grabbed a uh, chicken teriyaki rice bowl. And then, uh, I did have, I did, I did have leftover a, uh, manzana apple and naranjo orange, uh, leftover so I ate those as well throughout the shift. After the shift, I was like, all right, I need to get in another workout. So I, I'm gonna do one more workout. So I did a 1.5 mile elliptical, uh, 1.5 miles on the elliptical um, in 16 minutes, so horrible time, but I was just, I was just cruising. And then I did four sets of bench press. So like one of my buddies was in there, he was on the elliptical. So I jumped on the elliptical, BS'd with him until he was done. And then when he finished, I was like, eh, I'm almost at 1.5, so I'll finish this 1.5. Then there was another guy in the gym and he was doing bench press, so I did bench press with him. And so we started with 45s on each side, I think. And so I think we put up, put that up like about 10 times. Then I think he added 10 on each side and we put that up like eight times. Then I think he added another 10 or fives and then we put that up six, and then he added like another five on each side, and then we put up, uh, we put that up like four times. So I haven't done bench press in a long time, so I know that's not very impressive, but I'm a little skinny dude, you know? And like I said, I used to be really hardcore about bench press, but I don't really care about it anymore. So, but it was nice, it was nice to do it. It's nice to do it every once in a while. So yeah, and then I was done. Like, I was like, I'm going home, I'm tired, you know, I can get some rest. I think I still needed to do some editing or something like that. So I think it was the last nerdy fitness. It was one of the nerdy fitness videos I had to edit. So on day three, I took chicken, chicken kebabs and beef and broccoli. I also had some trail mix, organic trail mix, like the Annie's, you know, with the rabbit on it. The wife got me all kinds of like three different boxes of those. Um, like one trail mix and then it's like not goldfish but like they're little bunnies and then another thing of bunnies they're different flavors but uh anyways so yeah so for that day on my day three i came in early i did a 1.5 mile treadmill run as fast as i could i did it in 10 18 i'm trying to get it in in under 10 or get 10 exactly then i did three sets of wide grip pull-ups and so i did i did like 10 8 
six, I think is what I did, or nine, seven. I think I did nine, seven, five is what I actually did. And so it's, but this time I did, I did wide grip, then I did regular, because I did wide like this, and then they have the bars like this, so I did these, and then I did chin ups, and so I did 10, 10, 10, or 9, 9, 9, um, 7, 7, 7, and then 5, 5, 5, and that's what I did. And so in between each one, I also did abs workouts, and I alternated uh, between each one, and so I ended up doing, I think I ended up doing four, yeah, four sets of each. With, so I did twists and then I did uh, and then I did sit-ups. So I did four sets uh, four sets of 50 with the twists like I said one two you know so essentially 25 uh, and then four sets of sit-ups and I did it with a 15 pound weight. I did end up eating all my food but the kebabs there was a lot of kebabs in there. I want to say there was like seven pieces of kebabs or something because there was four left over and I had three first so um so yeah so that's what i ate at first when i first uh like towards the beginning of my shift that's what i ate and then like about four hours later or whatever i had the other four kebabs and i think that's pretty much it and then i munched on my trail mix and then after my workout that night i did do a workout so i did buys and abs kind of forearms too because a lot of the some of the workouts work out so i did the full you know, I think I just did, I did pretty lightweight. I did tens just because I, I've been missing days. So I was like, oh, I'm going to start easy with tens and go with high, high number. I think I did like 30 the first time or something. Uh, but I, three sets of 20, um, like I said, take turns. Uh, so, but I did like actual, yeah, I did, yeah, I did 20. So I did really just 10 each arm. Um, but like I said, I did uh, I did do 30 the first time. I did three sets of those. Then I did, and then I also did uh, four sets of uh, barbell curls. So I would do that, and then I do barbell curls. But in between, I would do uh, abs workouts. And so I did the where you lay out completely. I'm on, I'm on a flat bench, I'm laying out completely, and I'm just holding my legs essentially. Yeah. So I just I just hold it, and so I did that for 30, like 30. Mississippi or whatever the other one that I did was just a crunch hold so uh, you know I had my knees up and I just hold it and like you find a good spot where like there's you know there's tension or whatever like where you're like shaking and that's how you know you're gonna get you're gonna feel it you're gonna feel it in your in your core you're gonna feel it in your abs cuz like you you're sore afterwards for holding it especially so I hold it for 60 Mississippi pretty much I also did uh, for the last, I did three sets of preacher curls. So the bar, you know, like there's that bench or whatever that, and then so I did, I did these, and I did it with 20 pound weights, uh, cause like the barbells I think were like, um, I think it was like 50 or something like that. Yeah, I did 50, and I did, I did it like 12 times. I think I did that one. Like I said, when I got home, I had my beef and broccoli cause I was starving. Like I ate my, uh, I ate my naranjo on the way home. But then I was still like, that was not enough for me. So I was freaking hungry. So I ate my beef and broccoli. There wasn't a lot. And then on day four, the last day, uh, I had, I, and each, like most of these days, I had like a frozen yogurt bar. Uh, it's organic. It was delicious. Strawberry um, before work. And oh, I load up on water too. I, I, I drink at least one bottle of water. So anyways, but yeah, so for that fourth day, we were supposed to hit it hard. Me and my running buddy, he had like a, he had to go do a fitness thing, um, like a fit test or something like that. And but, uh, you know, you just like walk on the treadmill for like 14 minutes, 15 minutes or something like that, and then you you go into this weird thing that's kind of like uh, it, it looks like a freaking time capsule or something. I always feel like I'm the Terminator when I get in there or something. I come out, you know, because they make you like strip down to your skivvies. Got there while well, he was busy doing that. I stretched really well because I knew we were going to run a lot and so we I ended up doing a four mile uh, treadmill run I did it pretty much until I was time for me to uh, you know jump in the shower and stuff otherwise I'd have kept on going I wanted to do more but I did end up doing a four mile treadmill run in 36 minutes so not so I'm keeping a good pace because the previously I had done 
4.25 in 38 minutes. So yeah, so that's that's what I did uh, for before work on that day. And then um, for food, I had my wife got me a bacon, ham, sausage, egg, and hash browns uh, burrito. It was, it's fat, that thing was fat. So I ate half of that after I got on shift and I was full, like I was stuffed. So I did not, I did not eat anything else. I just, you know, drink lots of water and stuff. I was set. Usually I'm starving the whole shift when I do a lot of cardio like that, but I did, I was not. And so, uh, but then after like, uh, like I think like four hours later or so, um, I ate again and my wife had some leftovers from uh, from Wex and so she had the carne asada, bacon and hash browns, so I ate that. There was the egg too, but like, she has the, the the over easy egg and I don't I don't like that. Uh, but yeah, so that that stuff was good. And then I also had a I also had you know I munched on my trail mix, and then I think after, and then so for my workout I did a workout after shift on that day too, and I did uh, chest and try as well as some abs I think yes I did do some abs. So I did four sets of fifteen for the dumbbell flies and I did it with 30s and you know laying down and just like that that's that's what I did so I'm still sore from from that workout uh pretty hardcore and then I I also so I did that and then I did uh four sets of uh 15 uh standing barbell skull crushers so like you get the bar you put it and so just like this and you can feel it you can feel it here pretty pretty well and so I did that um, and like I said in between these so that's in between them I would also do abs and I would alternate between these two abs workouts so for one of them I would do I did uh, four sets of 60 flutter kicks um, I want to say flutter shy kicks but that's all right um, and then I would also do, uh, and then the other abs workout I did was four sets of 60 heel touches. So essentially like a crunch, but then I'm a laying on the bench and I have my feet up and then I'm reaching towards my heels. So it's working the obliques and I'm also doing a crunch like the whole time too. So I'm keeping constant tension, uh, on that for that workout. Um, then I also did uh, four sets of 15 dumbbell press. So same thing, I was doing 30s and I was doing press. I just had the dumbbells and I was doing press. Uh, and then I also did um, this uh, four sets of 15 barbell tricep press. That's what I call it at least, that this, the one that uh, this guy showed me. Um, you hold the bar and you keep it pretty close because so that it focuses more on, and that's pretty much how you measure it to where to hold is just your thumbs put it on there And then you're just like it's right under the tit and you're pushing it up like that and don't fully extend And don't bounce it off your chest and you'll feel it. You'll feel it pretty good in your tries your triceptagons I also did four sets of oblique four sets of 50 of oblique crunches uh, You know where essentially where I just lay on my side and I hit each oblique I did each side. I would do, um, I would do each side 50. So I ended up doing 100 all together, um, and that's. Uh, and, and then I also did four sets of 30 for the uh, for the Hello Dollies, which is essentially you just lay down, feet straight out, and then you just open your legs in and out like that. You can do it fast. You can do it slow. I like to do a little mixture, half and half, you know, and stuff. And then. I finished with a burnout uh, tricep uh, push down, which is essentially like the cable machines and you grab it and you just push it down like that and you push and I think I did like 60 pounds I want to say and I just did as many as I could. Uh, I, I want to say maybe I got like 16 or so um, or maybe around 20 and then I also did the uh, and so burnouts you just you just do as many as you can. And then I also did one arm dumbbell extension. So for each arm, you know, you grab a weight. I think I grabbed like 15 and I did as many as I could. So or anywhere from like 10 to 15. Uh, I think I probably burned out around 10 um, for each arm because I was just, I was done. Yeah, and so I had I had uh, my manzana on the way home um, and that was, that was pretty much it. I was still hungry though. So I think I did eat something else 
when I got home, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, for music, I've been listening to Dashboard Confessional, uh, because I was listening to a lot of Secondhand Serenade. I feel like Dashboard Confessional, they're better, and there's way more good stuff, too, so I started listening to them. A lot of good, you know, emotional breakup stuff. Not that I'm, that's what I'm going through, but, like, it just, you know, reminds me of the, the old school days, um, back before the wife. And then I also started getting into the Red Jumpsuit apparatus as well. I listened to the first album, which was really solid. Just throwing on shuffle and just being like, wow, I listen to a lot of good music. And then uh, podcasts, I listened to a little Adam Carolla. And I've also listened to a little bit of Clash of Kings audiobook. Um, and then for shows, I have been watching a lot of the Midnight Diner Tokyo Stories, which is still solid. I watched one though that was really weird because it's about this guy he's being haunted by his mom and he it's weird because he makes this pact with this with the chef that's at the diner and he said hey if i die please throw away all my porn so that they don't come and find my porn stash and his his mom was haunting him for something similar she didn't have like it's not a porn stash but there's this thing that they give women i guess in japanese culture and it's like like, it teaches them about all the different sex positions so that they can be a good sex partner and wife and everything like that when they get married, you know, and stuff. And so she wanted him to get rid of that. And then after he gets rid of that, then, like, she moves on. So it was weird, though. That one was really weird. I just, that one, I was like, what? this is weird. That one was really weird. Um, but I've also been watching The Punisher on Netflix, and that one is freaking awesome, hardcore, and brilliant. I'm loving it. I have one more episode left. So far, though, I would say that it, it's 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 contending with uh, Daredevil Season 1 for best uh, Netflix show. Um, I'm not saying it's my favorite, but I think it's the best. Luke Cage is my favorite. Um, but, yeah, so I think that might be the best one. And then comics, Mojoverse is going on great. Spectacular Spider-Man is spectacular, of course. The metal stuff is freaking phenomenal. Uh... Batman has been freaking super uh, these last couple issues. And then, of course, um, Aquaman's freaking sick. And, uh, and as well as there was also another book that I'm trying to remember that was really great. But anyways, uh, for gaming, the wife and I have been playing Super Mario Odyssey. It is a lot of fun. There are some parts that are really hard. It's really weird because like some worlds are really small and they're really short or they're like they're really hard. So they're long. They end up being long levels even though they're small, and then there's some levels that are big, but they're kind of easy, so they don't take as long. But I like the big worlds a lot more just because it's more fun. There's more to it. Uh, and then I've also been playing a lot more Super... Uh, I mean, not Super, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Speaking of, I got my Mass Effect Andromeda shirt because I ordered the Henley. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just open this now. Um... It's like, so hopefully it's freaking awesome. Um, yeah, because like, I love that game and I love the clothes and I need more like nerd clothes that you can kind of wear out to a nice like dinner or something. I got a medium, so hopefully it's not too big. Um, so, but yeah, uh, let's see here. I don't know if I can return it or not. Um, and if it is too big, I might just throw it in the wash and that should, that should help. Uh, but hopefully it's uh, it's pretty solid. My little peanut head fits through that little hole. And, uh, oh, sick. This looks awesome. Uh, and it's comfy. This is actually perfect for me. I'm a skinny fella, and this, the sleeves are a little tight. Uh, well, not sleeves, but, like, the, the wrist part where you get your answer. But that's the only part. Like, it's not too, too tight on the thing. It looks a little... I like it. It looks good. I can't wait to wear this. I'll probably wear this to... Uh, thanksgiving dinner or whatever why not um that'll be fun so anyways um thank you for watching oh yeah question of the week i want to know i also watched justice league and i liked it a lot i thought it was a lot of fun and uh it was it was brilliant i, I knew it wasn't brilliant it was kind of it was kind of there's parts that are dumb i wish they would have done a better job with the death um of superman uh but you know what are, what are you gonna do um you know they, they, they need to hire me as a consultant for a lot of these movies so I can take out the stupid ideas and put my good ideas in or, or you know, whatever. But anyways, I want to know what your favorite Justice Leaguer is uh, from the movies, the characters from the movies primarily. Uh, my favorite 
Um, not so much from the movie specifically, but like my favorite would have to be uh, Aquaman. Um, yeah, he doesn't really have water powers, and a lot of people think he's useless outside the water, but he is beast. Like, he's not just in the movie, like, is he hardcore because he's Jason Momoa now? But, like, I just like the idea that he's from, you know, he's Atlant he's half Atlantean and he's half human, and they kind of neither trust him or, like, he doesn't really fit in with either and stuff, and so I really like that. But he's really hardcore. He's, like, almost on par with, you know, Superman. Obviously, he can't fly, but, like, he's really hardcore and stuff. But, uh, yeah, in fact, I would like to do a... Not a Jason Momoa cosplay, but an Aquaman cosplay that's kind of like a mashup of the comics, like him with the short hair and then, you know, his look from from the movie, you know, so like I'm going to start, I'm going to start swimming and I'm going to start working on my pecs a lot more and stuff so I can get jacked. I know I'm not going to get big as him because I'm a little scrawny dude, but I'm going to do like the short hair version, you know, maybe I have the mustache, you know, so there's a little, there's a little hair or maybe a full goatee if I can, but whatever. Uh, so yeah. Um, but I want to know what your favorite Justice League character is from the movie specifically, but not like just one of the characters. Like they can be comics or whatever, but I mean, just that, that roster is what I mean. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Stay fit. Stay nerdy. Love and peace.